a couple of days ago, I've realized that I've been wasting a lot of my time lately with a bunch of different things, uh, starting, you know, from reading random news in geopolitics or, you know, doing various types of things, playing video games, which didn't really bring me much joy, nor fun, nor benefits in any other way. So I've decided to kind of make a step back and do a couple of things in my home network, uh, my office, my mobile phone, my laptops, to kind of improve that. So let me kind of share a couple of tips very quickly with you and just tell you that after two weeks almost of doing that now, I've never felt better or I haven't uh, felt this good in a very long time. So first and foremost, what I've done is I've set up my pie hole, my DNS here in my office uh, to, to a very aggressive mode. Essentially, uh, I've blocked all of the uh, media sites that I used to visit, uh, just waking up and reading politics. And the main reason why I've done that is because I've seen that it's very easy to fall short there. And uh, I, I would uh, catch myself waking up and reading random news that first and foremost would poison your mind when you wake up. Uh, you, you basically would start becoming a dopamine junkie already by the time you opened your eyes. And these types of news didn't bring me any benefits, any joy of, of any kind. Really, they were just poisoning my mind really badly. So first thing that I've done, of course, I blocked all of these sites and then I went ahead more aggressive and I said, okay, well, let me find the patterns in my behavior because, you know, I have oh, AI right now. I can learn so many things. I can focus my energy on so many different things, of course, besides the family and full-time job and kids and stuff. I can, you know, start appreciating my time again. And for those of you who know me, you know that I don't have social media anyway. So I guess I'm already ahead of the game there. I only have LinkedIn. I don't have Facebook, Twitter, and any of these platforms. I never had those. So kind of my, my life in that sense is already great, but I still was falling short to reading just junk, just nonsense, nonsense that actually doesn't provide me any value. So after, you know, I've set up a, a more aggressive uh, list on Piehole and I blocked some websites, I went ahead and I installed something called Activity Watch. Activity Watch is an open source tool similar to Rescue Time, if you ever heard about it, for tracking your activity on your computer or computers. So if you have multiple computers, you will install Activity Watch. And Activity Watch is going to tell you which uh, software are you using the most, how, you know, often are you away from keyboard if you're using the browser which tabs you have opened so basically what the tool does essentially just reads the um um the, the 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 basically yeah the tabs that you have open the software that you have opened and stuff and then gives you some sort of a pulse activity pulse productivity pulse and tells you or gives you a rough idea are you wasting your time much or are you spending your time actually doing something useful? I will, I will leave the links to these tools. They're all completely open source, completely free, so no spending money of any kind. Then another pattern that I actually realized that I found is that YouTube, which is an amazing platform, I use it all the time to learn. YouTube, the problem with YouTube is YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts, in my experience, after reevaluating my own patterns, is, is cancer for humankind. These platforms such as TikTok, YouTube Shorts and stuff, they are literally made for um, uh, dopamine uh, to, to just, uh, uh, for, for your brain to just uh, massively produce dopamine um, up until the point where you're just exhausted, right? Uh, if you remember, some of you at least who know me, I suggested to some of you a book called The Dopamine Detox from Amazon, which I still suggest. And in that book, there was an example that, that, that states how even professionals or children of today, by the time they get to school or to work and stuff, every day they're already exhausted mentally because by the time they reach, you know, from, where, uh, from the moment they wake up to the point of getting to a destination, school, work, whatever, they have already consumed so much content that it's just tragic for your mind. So in this video, really, I would just wanted to very randomly share some of my latest improvements in my personal life. Uh, so I haven't recorded the video for YouTube in a, in a very long time. And I genuinely am telling you as, as, a, as a person, if you're watching this, try this out. Try to challenge yourself for a week, for three days, for two days. Try to block this, this, this stuff. And then really try to use AI to learn new things. For example, as you can see here behind me, I've created a, a brand new workbench. I'm doing some electrical engineering. So as you can see, I have um, 
some actually behind me you can't see it i have an oscilloscope uh, uh power supply i have a multimeter right there and a bunch of things so i'm basically at least now for my for the sake of my own career i'm using utilizing ai to to extend my career my software engineering career into some more hardware and stuff like that and now i actually feel more and more that i'm in control of that and instead of you know uh, uh, wasting time on, on random things on these these absolutely useless channels of content, I can actually uh, hold that in my own hands. Lastly, what I actually just came to my mind, you can also install a Chrome extension. I'm going to leave the link in the bottom that actually blocks um, YouTube Shorts. You can't unfortunately do that, at least not with Pihole, because you can't really uh, block. Uh, partial URLs and Pihole. Pihole is a DNS, so it's going to block. So if you want to block YouTube, you can do that, but you cannot just selectively block YouTube Shorts, for example. So this Chrome extension you can install. You can build one yourself as well. It's very simple. It essentially, a Chrome extension is just going to check the URL like and then parse the url and then hey you are trying to view this i'm going to hide it actually from the pages they just going to remove the dom element anyway i hope you guys are having a good time i hope this video finds you well and uh, you know take care of your time and uh, try to utilize the tools we have today to learn some new skills instead of wasting time on all of those uh, useless other useless things i wish you well and uh, take care i'll see you in another one cheers